Finally free, a man overcome with emotion as he is finally set free after being held in prison since 1989. Sidney Holmes' family greeted him the second he stepped foot out the door. Holmes says the first order of business is to go eat. CBS 4's Gabrielle Arzola joins us live at the Broward County Jail where it all unfolded. Gabby? That's right. It was actually really emotional being here. I mean, imagine 34 years. Imagine what he and that family have gone through during that time. But like you said, the first thing he wants to do is go out to eat. And he also has a very special, very special message for those at home. After 34 years, Sidney Holmes is now a free man. His family overcome with emotion as he takes his first steps out of the Broward County Jail. I can't put into it. I don't. Yeah, it's, it's I was over elated. I was excited, and I just kept praising God and thanking Innocent Project and everybody who made this possible. His mother, Mary, says she's ready to take her son home. Back in 1988, Holmes was convicted for being a driver in a robbery. But in court, the state attorney's office explained that Holmes not only had no ties to the robbers, but didn't have any fingerprints or physical evidence tied to the crime. The state says one flawed witness identification gave him a 400-year sentence. Here's a man who was sentenced to prison for 400 years, which is effectively a life sentence. And uh, today we were able to reverse that. He's getting out of prison today and uh, no longer is the wrong man uh, confined uh, to a Florida state prison. It has been a long, 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 long time, long awaited day. The family tells us they never lost hope after all those years. The Innocence Project is thrilled he's getting out of prison, but they estimate up to 5,000 Florida prison inmates may also be wrongly convicted. We are reviewing hundreds of cases in our office uh, to, to find the next Sydney Holmes and have cases in Broward County that are on deck. And, uh, and so we're going to continue plugging away. Hmm. So I asked him time and time again, what do you want folks to know? And he says to never give up hope. So like you said, Lauren, first order of business, he says the first thing he wants to do is go to Olive Garden. He says he's never been there before. But on top of that, he says after all of this, he wants to spend the rest of his life doing something very special. We'll have that for you coming up at 11. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Gabrielle Arzola, CBS 4 News.